in No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. We are sitting here at Field 24, ready to start rocking and rolling. So, let's go ahead and get rolling here. And we'll get planting. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this field done, and then uh, our spring crops are in and ready to go. This is our last, our second and final field of spring wheat. <clears throat> so our last of our spring crop, or our early summer crop, I should say. <coughs> As this is something that we'll be combining in the summer versus in the late fall, like our other two crops that we'll be running this year. So I hope everybody's enjoying this series so far. I know I'm enjoying making it. I'm enjoying being back into uh, making YouTube videos. I definitely missed making YouTube videos. I enjoy doing it. It gives me a little something to do. And, uh, I mean, I like playing the game anyways, and a lot of people like watching it, so I enjoy doing this. So hopefully this field should take us too terribly long. I think this one, I think our uh, field yesterday took us about a half hour, I think it was. I think it was like a 35 minute video or so. So hopefully should be able to get this one done here pretty quick. I don't like that the trees right next to the field have a collision on them it kind of makes it difficult to get close to the edge so that's going to be a problem with course play on our combine as well because uh, <clears throat> our combine is going to want to drive right through it and he's not going to be able to so I'm probably going to have to fix that a little funky I just added a different flavor of juice to this because it was I was low and I'm gonna start using a different kind of juice so <clears throat> so I kind of got a little bit of a mix going god damn I don't know why but with cruise control enabled it does not go backwards it does not want to stop with just hitting the S key like it normally should stop so I don't know what the deal is with that so I gotta remember to hit the 2 and then hit S to stop yeah normally I have a uh, let's see, it's apple, strawberry, watermelon is my usual flavor in my vape, but I just put some green apple in there. Okay, so there it stopped, like it should. I don't know why it doesn't want to sometimes. So we're just going to turn around like this here to do this end row. 
Get our planner all lined up here. We got our three end rows done on this end of the field now. We'll just uh, have to go over to the other end of the field and do our three, and then we'll uh, be good to go back and forth. Yeah, so now it's stopping just fine. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't want to. <clears throat> I guess it's just wanting to be a temperamental asshole right now. So this field actually I don't think is going to take as long as the other one did. I think this one might go a little bit faster. We'll see. <laughs> I didn't really want to unlock my phone. So I respond to a couple snaps while I'm on it. flex going on the planter there in that little ditch or kind of like a little ravine type deal there so I'm gonna do something here we're just gonna go like this leave the planter down just flip around like a nice tight turn there we go just to make that corner a little easier just cuz that area is just kind of hard to it's kind of hard to turn around and it's a lot faster to have just done it that way <coughs> so we'll see how long this one takes Honestly, I don't know what she did with her candy. I, last I knew, it was out in the living room. That's a bunch of organic shit that my mom sent. Now I'm starting to taste more green apple. <laughs> it's finally starting to go through. It's one thing that kind of sucks about vapes. Like, you can't really run the juice dry. Because then you can fuck it up. But at the same time, if you're going to mix a different flavor, it kind of tastes a little, a little fucked up. But that's what I got right now. Because I'm out of cigarettes, so. And I'm don't have the money for cigarettes right now so till I get cigarettes this is what I gotta use because I'm also out of chew so the struggle
So hopefully this series will actually last a while. Normally whenever I start a series, I never really finish it. I usually end up getting to about harvest. And usually something happens where I end the series or start a different one or something, so... <clears throat> Found it. <laughs> so we're gonna have to bring our seed tender over here again pretty soon. We're definitely using seeds pretty, pretty heavily. that and I'm making videos put them on YouTube I don't know <laughs> probably Yeah, it would definitely be nice if that guidance steering would work, because then we could uh, be in cab doing all this, but since it wants to be a temperamental ass, I can't. So we've already used about three quarters worth of our seed. So we just... Gotta keep pushing until we're just about out, and then we'll bring the seed tender over. We'll refill. Hearing my phone go off. It's just Snapchats, though. Plant prosperity. So we've seeded 10 hectares, is basically what that means. Yeah, yeah as you can tell, I definitely haven't played this game a whole lot because, uh, I'm still getting the achievements, so... Definitely have not put a lot of time into this game yet. I mean, I did start a series on Ravenport when I first got the game, but... I mean, I didn't really... I think I only had two videos up of that. I believe. I think it was only like two. And then it got to where I just didn't have time, and then... Uh, then the screen got broke, so... then I just kind of put it away for a while. when in all reality I could have been making videos still but I didn't know right away that uh, it would work hooking it up to a TV so but I do know it now so we're back to making videos I know a lot of people kept asking me when they were gonna come back and when it, why I wasn't making videos all that so we're finally back at it Stop that here quick because I just got to double check something. 
or check on something, make sure. Okay. So that's getting there. It's just about done. Perfect. I have Tuesday's video currently uploading, and it's 2.09, and the video is supposed to be up at 4, so. <clears throat> so I think we'll get turned around here, and then we'll fill the planner up. <coughs> Should be selected on seed. There we go. We're totally missing the planter, but oh well, it works, I guess. And then we'll just move this guy off to the side here. Probably back here, just so that way it's out of the way of turning around and stuff. And then we'll just leave it right there. And we're good to go. We can keep on rolling. So we've just about used half of our fertilizer. So I'm hoping that we should have enough fertilizer to finish this field. I mean, we are... We're getting close to about halfway done, so... We should have plenty of fertilizer. Hoping that we have enough seed to finish this field too. Which we should. Cause, I mean, I, like I said, we're about half done, so. And we just now had to fill it. So. Hopefully we have enough to finish this field off of everything. And if we do run out of seeds, I probably won't fill it full. I'll probably just fill a little bit, depending on how much we have left to plant, if we do run out. That's probably just what I'll do. But, you know, like I said, we'll just kind of have to see, see what happens with it. We are getting close to done, so that's definitely a plus. <laughs> I've already put four hours on this tractor, so I mean it's it's getting broke in. We're getting close. I would definitely say that we're about halfway. I mean, I would definitely say that we have about half of the field planted, including our headlands and stuff, so. <clears throat> we do have a lot of it done. Planter doing a little bit of flex in there. Yeah, so the map that I'm currently working on making, it's not super hilly or anything, but it's definitely not a flat map. I do have terrain on it. Um, you know, when I first thought up an idea of making a map, my idea was okay, take the terrain from some random place and then take a field layout from a play you know another area you know not necessarily that same area but some other area and then do that you know do the do a field layout off of other fields but 
Um, I just kind of decided that I'm going to do my own thing, going to kind of freehand it. So I put in, you know, kind of the road going through town, or, you know, the town, which is basically just an elevator, a dealership, and a place to get your seed, a place to get your fertilizer and lime, and then a place to get your herbicide. Because um, I'm not even going to put a gas station on it, because there will be fuel at the farms. So... I mean, I won't really have to worry about that. And it'll have a lot of buildings on it. And then I'm going to set it up so that way when you start a save game, it's also got grain bin. Like, anything that I have in my placeable mods that I would place down... You know, like the fer the fuel tank we have on this map, or like the you know the Quonset or anything like that. Any buildings, any extra things. You know, basically once you start the save game, the map is completely set up. So you know all the grain bins will be in the areas that I would have them, and everything like that. Everything will be set up, ready to rock and roll. So, I mean, it'll be kind of nice. One thing that I do kind of wish that was converted over to 19 is uh, the grain bagger. I mean, in real life, me personally, I wouldn't use grain bags just because, to me, they seem like an extra headache. Because, I mean, you have a, you know, you have a big bag sitting out in the middle of a field full of your crop. Anything can happen to it. I mean, it can burst and then you have grain laying everywhere you know if it bursts I mean you I mean wind can blow it around um, I mean you can have animals eating on it so I mean to me I wouldn't use a grain bag in real life I mean in the game a grain bag wouldn't be bad to have to use but in real life that's definitely not something that I personally would want to use just cuz I feel like it'd be I mean, I feel it'd be safer in a grain bin. I mean, I don't know what uh, everybody else's opinion on it is on them. I mean, I know there's a lot of people around here that use grain bags. Um, more so up north. Um, in the northern part of the state is where you see a lot more of them. Uh, kind of up towards Canada, you see a lot more grain bags than you do kind of in the central part of the state. But, I mean, a lot of people use them, I know. But, me personally, that's not something that I would really want to use because I feel like I'd be more worried about, you know, is it going to break and then I'm going to have it, you know, all over my field and that kind of thing. I mean, not that a grain bin can't bust or anything like that. I mean, grain bins can definitely break and collapse. I mean, they can, you know, sometimes if they're not vented properly, they'll suck themselves in or, you know... If they get old, you know, the metal just kind of gets flimsy and it can kind of give out. And then, you know, you have a lot more grain in a bin than you do in a grain bag that can be everywhere. But, I mean, it's, I don't know. It In reality, there is no smart way of storing anything. I mean, anything can happen to it. Anything can happen to it in the field, in storage. Definitely a lot of factors in farming that, you know, the game obviously doesn't, and a lot of it that the game can't have. I mean, it would be kind of cool if, um, you know, they made it so, like, you know, if it hails in the game, it damages your crops that you have growing. You know, I wish that would be a thing. I definitely wish that there were rocks in the game. You know, you had to pick your field. You know, when you till, it pulls up rocks, and then you got to go get a rock picker or a rock bucket or something, and you got to go pick a rock. That would definitely be something that I would love to see in the game. I know, I think it was in 15, there was a rock script. So, I mean, you could have it set so that, you know, when you're... I think it was only when you're tilling... I know it was when you were tilling for sure, like plowing and cultivating. I'm not sure if they had it 
with planters too or not but they had it where you know when you're plowing or cultivating rocks will appear and then you had to go back and pick them but I mean the physics for picking the rocks was really not that great I mean it was kind of a I don't know it was kind of one of those things where the physics of it just weren't the way that they should be I mean to have a bucket and trying to scoop up the rocks it just did not work very well but I mean it was definitely a fun script to have it added a little bit more realism to the game and I mean you just had that one more thing that made the game you know a little more realistic but it did definitely have its issues that's something I definitely think that giants could incorporate into the game you know to where there are rocks in the fields and that kind of stuff I mean there's a lot more that giants could do to the game itself that they just don't because they focus on cranking a game out as fast as they can and then they focus on you know then they just forget about the game focus on the DLCs you know it's it's a repeat every single year to where they get their game out there might be a couple changes and then let's focus on DLCs you know it's kind of it kind of sucks I wish they would work on just improving the game you know I mean honestly what they should do is they should have a game just one not you know farm sim 2011 farm sim 13 farm sim 15 farm sim 17 farm sim 19 they shouldn't keep releasing a game every other year what they should do is they should stick to one game and just constantly be upgrading it you know constantly putting out updates to where it makes the game better it improves things add things to the game as you go you know adding to one game instead of making it so every other year you gotta buy a new game and then new game means all new mods you gotta start all over you know there's no mods out for it so you gotta start all over all over again and everybody's gotta learn how to you know mod for the new one you know cuz everything's different I mean it just it gets to be kind of a pain in the ass I personally would rather see them continuously updating a game I mean I'd rather be updating my game you know every couple weeks or something like that or every month to get new stuff you know to get new versions of the game where they have upgraded you know and changed stuff and added stuff fixed stuff versus having to buy a new game every you know every two years and then okay now it's time to learn all over on everything you know to me that's just kind of a it gets to be annoying I know there's a lot of other people that feel the same way but I mean after a while you know, you kind of don't have a choice. You kind of got to continue moving forward in the games. You know, to continue getting updates and continue getting fixes and, you know, to continue getting DLCs, that kind of stuff. Like, everything just keeps moving forward, so you just kind of got to move forward with it. I mean, normally when a new game comes out, I don't buy it right away. 19, I actually had pre-ordered. So I got it, you know, as soon as it came out on pre-order on Steam. Uh, as soon as it was available, I had it, but this is the first time that I've ever actually, you know, bought the game right away. Normally, I wait a while to upgrade games because, you know, when they first put it out, there's going to be issues, so then you got to wait for them to update those issues, you know, set, put out an update to fix those issues, and then you got to wait, you know, for this, wait for that. So normally, I just wait to even buy the game. I don't even buy it right away, you know, and a lot of people usually give me shit about it. But, you know, there's no sense in wasting my money right away on something that's, you know, there's nothing for it. There's no mods, you know, so you're restricted to just base gameplay. You know, so you got no mods, you got nothing. I mean, <coughs> I don't know. That's just how I am. I personally wait. You know, I would rather wait to buy the game right away. Um, and just wait until stuff starts coming out for it. Because, I mean, it takes a while for everybody to learn how to mod for the new game, how to how all the scripting works, how everything works. So, normally, you know, 
it's kind of sometimes pointless to buy a game right away. In my opinion. I mean, this is from my point of view. Obviously, I'm not saying that everybody has to be agreeing on my opinion or something like that. And that's something that a lot of people always mistake. They're like, you know, oh, well, just because you say this doesn't mean that I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to do what I want. Well, you know, that's that's how it works. Like, I'm just voicing my opinion on it. I'm not saying that, oh, just because this is what I think, this is what you have to think. And because this is what I do, this is what you have to do. Like, some people believe that. And it's just, it's so dumb. Like, there are so many people in this world right now that are just, they're dumb. And, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody's perfect either. And I'm not saying that everybody's stupid. Like, it's just, there's a lot of stuff where it's just like, you know, why are you even here? You know, it's, some people amaze me at how dumb they can be on some subjects <coughs> like just the way some people talk and the way some people act is just absolutely ridiculous in my opinion yeah, especially online like there's so many people they act all hot shit and you know tough and then you meet them in person and they're just nothing but a puss and it's like, well, you know, what was the point of acting all big and tough? Like, you aren't. So, we're finally done with our wheat planting. So now we can take this. We'll lift it up, shut it off, fold it up. And we'll get it back to the farm. We'll get it washed up, get it put back in the shed. And then we'll get hooked back onto the disc. So we'll get our, uh, we'll get back to the farm and then we'll make our drill look nice and shiny and new again. I'm just going to leave what seed and fertilizer is in this thing in here. Go ahead. Actually, let's just shut this guy off for now. So it's not sitting there wasting fuel while we do this. We'll go ahead and we'll get this guy washed up here. It looking clean and shiny again. Alright, there we go. So now we can go ahead and hop back in our tractor. Shut the door. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get this guy put back in the shed where it goes. Actually, a little close to that other planter. A little closer than I want to be. And we'll drop that right there. We'll go over here and we'll get hooked back up to the disc. Because this is what we're going to need next. Because tomorrow we will get our. Shut that guy off. 
because tomorrow, so we got this one done. So tomorrow we need to till 26, 27, and 71. So those are our last three fields that we have left to till. And then we'll be all set and uh, ready to roll. So that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.